4,000 Weeks, Time Management for Mortals by Oliver Berkman presents a philosophical and realistic take on the unending pursuit of productivity and time management in the face of our limited lifespan, symbolized by the title's 4,000 Weeks, which roughly equates to 76.9 years, the average human lifespan. Berkman begins by addressing the modern obsession with efficiency, arguing that our constant drive to optimize every moment actually leads to a counterproductive way of living. Traditional time management strategies often leave us feeling frustrated and trapped within an ever-growing to-do list, as they fail to account for life's inherent unpredictability and the impossibility of fitting everything in. The central thesis of the book is that we must accept the uncomfortable truth of our limitations. Time is finite, and we cannot do it all. Berkman suggests embracing these constraints rather than resisting them. He encourages readers to shift from a focus on getting things done to being in the present moment, which he argues will lead to a more fulfilling life. To support this philosophical shift, Berkman explores several key ideas. He discusses the inefficiency of attempting to clear the decks, warning that the email inbox will never be empty for long, and new tasks will continue to appear. Instead, we should learn to prioritize more effectively, understanding that choosing to do one thing inevitably means not doing another. He further argues against the notion of the perfect schedule, contending that the pursuit of such a fantasy only sets us up for failure, as unexpected interruptions and demands invariably arise. By accepting that our schedules will be disrupted, we free ourselves from the stress of trying to maintain the impossible. Another topic Berkman addresses is the notion of personal productivity being an ethical issue, where society often equates busyness with goodness. Berkman dismantles this belief, positing that our worth should not be tied to how much we accomplish. He encourages readers to accept that they are enough as they are, without needing a never-ending list of achievements. An essential concept presented in the book is the efficiency trap. Berkman highlights how striving for efficiency in every aspect of our lives can lead to diminishing returns, suggesting that slowing down may be more beneficial in many cases. By not rushing, we can find greater enjoyment and meaning in the tasks we undertake. Berkman also discusses the relationship between time management and mortality. The awareness of death, he argues, can be a powerful motivator for living authentically and making meaningful choices about how we spend our time. Rather than seeing mortality as a depressing notion, Berkman recommends using it as a lens through which to consider what truly matters. Another point Berkman contends with is the idea of control and how it relates to time management. He posits that our craving for control is at the heart of our time management struggles. By accepting that we can never have complete control over our time, we can let go of the guilt and anxiety that comes from failing to achieve it. The pursuit of legacy is also explored in the book, with Berkman cautioning against the constant striving to leave a lasting impact. He argues that such ambitions often distract us from living fully in the present, and that accepting our small role in the vast tapestry of life can be liberating. Mindfulness and presence are presented as antidotes to the anxiety induced by our relationship with time. Berkman suggests that by truly engaging with the present moment, we can experience a richer life, even if it means doing less. This includes recognizing the value in routine and seemingly mundane tasks, as these can offer their own form of significance when approached with full attention. The concept of cosmic insignificance also features prominently in Berkman's philosophy. He suggests that acknowledging how little we matter in the grand scheme of the universe can be surprisingly comforting, reducing the pressure to achieve and allowing us to live more freely. Berkman tackles the idea of personal growth and the insatiable quest for self-improvement. While self-development is often seen positively, Berkman warns that it can lead to never being satisfied with who we are. By accepting our imperfect selves and letting go of the need for constant improvement, we can find contentment and a sense of peace. The book further delves into the paradox of choice and its relationship to time management. With an abundance of options for how we could spend our time, deciding and committing to specific paths becomes more difficult.
Berkman argues that making the conscious choice to limit our options can be both freeing and conducive to a fulfilled existence. A practical solution offered in the book is the idea of setting limits and boundaries to counteract the forces that would otherwise dictate our time use. This encompasses setting work hours, taking breaks, and saying no to additional commitments when necessary to maintain balance. The final chapters focus on embracing a more contemplative approach to life, where rather than constantly seeking external validation or the next achievement, we turn inward and seek depth in our current experiences. Berkman posits that engaging deeply with life as it is, rather than how we feel it should be, is a key to true fulfillment. In conclusion, 4,000 Weeks, Time Management for Mortals, isn't about revolutionary time-saving techniques, but rather a call to fundamentally reevaluate our relationship with time itself. It invites readers to accept the finitude of life and find joy and meaning within those constraints. By shifting from a mindset of control and efficiency to one of presence and acceptance, we can make peace with our limitations and live each of our 4,000 weeks to their fullest. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.